made our dream home. And today I'm gonna to show you the latest and greatest in homes from our same builder that built a house that has some features that I really wish I had. It's crazy alien technology. Okay, let's go see the next version of a dream home. So if you've been around for a while and seen our home build, this front door looks just like our front door, but it is not the same. It is totally different. So you check this out. If I'm over here, you can see me, which is great, but it's also kind of annoying if you're a YouTuber and people come to your house that maybe you don't want to talk to because you don't know them, but then they look in and they see you like, they're like, there they are, I want to talk to them. So wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that if somebody came to the front door that you didn't want to see, that you could just like block them out and then they don't see you. I can't see them, they can't see me, but they're still there, but they're not. That's what this window does, look at this. There's our builder, Jonathan. We don't want to talk to him right now, so we're going to let him stay outside. Instant privacy, and it's just with the push of a button. And I don't know how the glass does it. It's alien technology, but on our next dream home, I'm getting this. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I really like you. He's really my friend. We do like him. I just wanted to highlight that, and I needed a person out there, and that totally worked. How is it that I push this button, and this happens? Do you know? So what we did is we ran low voltage wire to each one of these window panes. And it, and it goes back to a closet that it has a transformer. So we're, we're getting power to each one of the windows. And as soon as we get power to the window, it actually has like a gas filled technology that when you get power to it, it opens the cell up so you can see through the glass. So when I push the button, there's some sort of gas technology that just turns white. I mean, look at that, I'm turning it. Am I gonna break it? If I do it too fast, do I break it? Nope. Okay, good. Check out this beautiful room that they designed with these big lights, the table, artwork on the walls, and it's really nice because this is the front of the house and you can look out. But again, the same thing happens where you push the button and all of this goes cloudy on this wall. It's not that it's just cloudy, it is almost like having blinds or shades come down. It does make the room darker and a little bit less light that comes in, which is also nice from that if you just don't want it to be so bright in your room. This is really cool technology that I wish we had in our front door, but if we build a house again, I am for sure getting this. As if the first feature was not amazing enough, this is the second thing that I wish that I had in my dream home and that I will get whenever we build another dream home. Welcome to the ultimate movie room. First of all, you may be able to tell on camera right now, the audio sounds really good when I'm talking. This is all soundproofing like what I have in my YouTube studio, except it's across the entire wall, up the top and across the top. The other cool thing is they even have the soundproofing on here. The speakers are hidden behind the soundproofing and behind the screen. And so while you're sitting on the couch watching a movie or watching a show or a basketball game, you hear and feel all the noise perfectly coming at you. And it's so quiet in here that you could hear a pin drop. It keeps every bit of noise in here and it doesn't bounce against the walls and you can hear everything precisely the way that it's supposed to be, whether it's in Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. And then the other thing that you're probably seeing, yes, you are seeing stars. And this is a really creative thing that they did. They took fiber optic cables and they cut them off and had them run through here so you can see the light from the fiber optic cable. Right now we have all the lights on, but you can have a different feature where you turn off all the side lights and you only leave the stars on. And then that way when you're watching a show, you just see stars. All right, we're gonna try something here. Jonathan, shut the doors. That way we can see the stars. It's gonna be really dark in here and hopefully you can see it. <laughs> I don't think you can see me. All right, I turned on my phone so you can see me a little bit. We don't even have a movie playing and I like this room. It's almost therapeutic just to sit in here with the sound dampened and you just like hear your thoughts. You don't hear anything from the outside. It's incredibly peaceful, but this is the ultimate setup in order to watch a movie or a TV show. And it's something that for sure you should put inside of your next dream home or smart home if you're planning on building one. But before we get to the other cool things inside of this house, first I wanna share a message from today's video sponsor. So if you're familiar with PenFed from the past and you thought that it's just for military, well surprise, the membership is now open for anybody to join PenFed. 
For over 85 years, PenFed has been serving the military with some of the nation's best rates. So PenFed is a credit union, meaning they are not for profit and member owned co-op. And because of that, they can offer great rates versus having to pay shareholders. If you need a loan, credit card, checking, savings account, PenFed can offer you very competitive rates on all of those. One of the things that I really like about PenFed as a credit union is it's one of three federal credit unions with an open national membership charter. What exactly does that mean? What is the benefit to you to being part of that? Well, I strongly dislike paying ATM fees. You have access to over 85,000 free ATMs and branch locations across all of mainland US, Guam, and Puerto Rico. PenFed's goal is to help you financially, no matter where you live or work. It is PenFed's mission to help you earn and save your money, but also get you the most competitive rates that you can on any loans that you might need. So start doing better with your money. Click on the link in the description to learn more. Thanks to PenFed for sponsoring this video. A lot of this house was Japanese inspired and part of the thing in Japan is they have a lot of like bath houses and places where you can go and just go to a sauna, take baths. It's like a community type thing and there's a lot of nature elements that are tied into it. So this house is inspired by that theme and it has one of the coolest features that you'll see inside of a house. This is the bathroom. We are indoors right now. This is a bathtub. It is outside. So in order to get to this bathtub, we go outside in the beautiful sunshine state that we live in of Utah. And you can take a bath in this bathtub that is one giant piece of granite. This bathtub was craned into here. It is 3,000 pounds of solid, thick granite of an outdoor bathtub. But what's cool too is that you can even take showers outside. So shower, bath, outside with the beautiful fresh air. Very, very nice and unique. One of the things that I love about this feature also is that it's either really, really loved or really, really disliked. It's very polarizing. Me, I think it's really cool. Now we are outside in the backyard paradise with a giant swimming pool and hot tub. These rocks, if you want to at nighttime, you turn them on and fire flames come out. There's a lot of water features out here. But the one thing that I love about this house that I actually asked for when we built our house and our architect shot it down and said, absolutely not, way too dangerous, a platform to jump off of the roof into the pool. Right now I'm 13 feet above the pool. I am up on a platform on the roof and you can jump off into the pool. One of the coolest features of this house. How deep is the pool? 10 feet. Oh, I'm getting kind of nervous just looking at it. I love this platform. It was made by a person here in town that is an expert with metal work and he will make custom anything. So check this out. Here's the platform. Here's where you stand. It does have a gate that shuts and then it comes all the way over here. You've got this metal base right here. And then in order to make sure that it has enough weight for heavy people like me, the metal beams come all the way back to here. So we're not actually finished with this jumping platform. What we have to do is at the top of the staircase, it's gonna tie into this jumping platform. So there'll be kind of like a walkway with the railing on both sides. Oh, so you don't accidentally back exactly. off the roof. So they'll, they'll, they'll come up to the top of the stairs, hit a landing, come up with railing on both sides, come up the step, and then go out to the jumping platform. They'll actually have kind of a gate there that we can close and lock to prevent from kids. The other thing is this metal that we welded together spans all the way back to the back. And we are gonna fill this back part up with concrete. So it's almost gonna act as like a, a ballast, which will have like 1,500 to 2,000 pounds sitting on the back of it to counterweight the jumping platform. Basically any human weight would not be able to make this fall over. Exactly. Random side note, I spy Sophie the giraffe. Hmm, I've seen a video about that before. 18 steps going up that. 19, 20, and there's the edge. I gotta hold on tight. I'm holding on tight. I am uh, 13 feet above the pool. It's very terrifying. But if I were a kid, I would want to have this in my yard. But guess what? I'm not a kid and I actually do want this in my yard and I wish I could jump off of my roof. 
I do have a slide that I do like, but this is amazing. <laughs> I like how she just dropped straight down in it. I don't know what I was expecting, but she just jumped right in. Did you touch the bottom? No. She didn't touch the bottom. It's 10 feet deep and she didn't hit the bottom. Oh my gosh, I need to jump off into this thing. I just have to keep showing things in here. This is the fifth coolest feature inside of this house that is something that every dream home should have that I wish that mine had. Welcome to the basketball court room. This is what it sounds like when you don't have the soundproofing like the movie room has. There's a bit of an echo. If I talk quieter, you don't hear it as much. One, two, three, and four. Basketball hoops. I mean, it's like three and a half. And then what's cool is there's a TV on the wall over here. You've got a giant fan. And then in here is a full-on workout gym room. So this is detached from the house in the back corner of the house. You have to have a lot of space to build this. And as I've been showing you this basketball court, there's one last thing that I think I need to do before this video ends. Woo! Thank you for watching What's Inside Family. These are some of the things that you should do in your dream home and things that I think I need to do in my dream home. This is really high. It's only 10 feet deep. Am I gonna hit the bottom, Jonathan? Does anybody hit the bottom? Do I cannonball? Do I take my clothes off? Nobody wants to see that. Woo! Woo! I was in the air for so long. Oh my gosh, I did touch the bottom, but I touched nicely and I sat on the floor. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Dream Home of 2022 with amazing features. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Do we need to move? Even has breakaway rims. This house that was just built. That's really loud. It's an Hold Amber on. Alert. Yeah, I got it on my phone too. Hold on, Amber Alert. It is outside. How heavy is it, Jonathan? 3,000 pounds. Hunter doesn't think it's very high. And so I said, well, why don't you jump in with all your clothes on? And he's like, fine, I'll do it. It's not very high. You, you, you good? Yeah. Are you good is the I, question. I'm great. Hey, it wasn't too bad. Don't you dare pee in that pool. Woo!